trabaho Sawa na ang bayan ko sa magnanakaw na tako Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Philippines, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. This is your order of office. Uh, <clears throat> may corona ako, sandali lang ha. <clears throat> Can you raise your right hands and repeat after me? I state your name. Having been elected, appointed, do hereby solemnly swear that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of my present position and all and preserve and defend the Constitution and bylaws of the organization to carry out the best of my ability its lofty purposes and objectives and promote and enhance its interest. And I hereby impose this obligation upon myself voluntarily without mental reservation or purpose of evasion. So help me God. Thank you very much, Mr. President. May we now invite the President for his message. Uh, in events like this, uh, the President is always... Uh, uh, please sit down. beg your indulgence for a few minutes. I want to deliver not a speech, but uh, rather it, sana it talk with you. But the problem is every time I do it, I rumble onto so many things and, uh, you know, my speech becomes uh, an hour, then mama inis na sa akin. So, pero may mga bagay sana ako. And you know what? And these are the things that are uh, in uh, uh, sa ating bayan, especially uh, uh, yung mga uh, my Ano ko sa mga ibang networks, but people wala, wala no, walang, yung mahinakit ko lang. But I will just uh, maybe read the, what's prepared dito. Ibabasahin ko, kakaahiya naman sa mga babaeng gumawa nito. Hindi naman ito akin talaga eh. I mean, if you really want uh, uh, me, you have to allow me to talk extemporaneous. And I will, pero mahirap ngayon, I think it's not time. But uh, we can have coffee uh, if you want. And uh, really, you know, uh, dwell into my heart and uh, malaman ninyo. At palagay ko, alam na rin ninyo. 
Presidential Communications o Operations Secretary Jose Roberto Martin Andanar, Senator Bongo, Board of Trustees and Standards Authority Directors and Members of the 2020 Kapisana na mga Broadcasters ng Pilipinas, mga kababayan. I am pleased to join the media professionals of this country's broadcasting industry today for the induction of the Board of Trustees and officers of the Kapisana ng mga broadcasters ng Pilipinas or KBP. This occasion reaffirms the important role of uh, broadcast media in shaping the nation's progress throughout responsible dissemination of news and information to our people. Throughout history, we have seen how mass media in the Philippines has shown its vital role in promoting an awareness on various social issues, disseminating critical information and mobilizing for public action in times of natural disasters and calamities and ensuring accountability in government and other social institutions. I commend the KBP for its commitment to elevate the standards of broadcasting, help promote positive social change, help disseminate information on our development efforts and foster business practices within your industry and the stakeholders. Be assured that this administration will uphold the equal protection of rights and your safety in the performance of duties. Let me magsigwe ako dito. Alam mo sa totoo lang, we in government are really in a fist ball. And we are, or we should not be grads anything that is uh, publicized or brought out in public in your desire to perform your duties. Ang sinasabi ko lang marami talaga ang corruption. Uh, I have, to, I had a talk with the, uh, somebody foreigner. Sabi niya corruption is still is very uh, prevalent and pernicious in our country. Alam ninyo, if there is one thing that's pulling us down ever since na nakita natin there was this uh, flowering of uh, uh, Indonesia, Malaysia, uh, Singapore, they are all in good hands, and there is always transparency sa kanilang ginagawa. So I challenge you today because limitado na ang ano ko eh. I'm, I'm two years. I can only do so much. You know, I fire almost two, three directors every day or those who cannot be fired because they have the eligibilities and their careers, ca career uh, certificates, we assign here to Malacanian or to someone. Ang kataluwa, wala talagang katapusan ang, believe me, in every office dito sa bansa na ito, the task thing to do with an authority or discretion, that 
table from one table to another is corruption. Kaya lahat hirap. If you have papers, application, clearances, and they sit on it, and then you go back and forth, and uh, you have to deal with corruption. Ako na ang nagsasabi sa inyo na ang Pilipino kasi is not assertive. All you have to do to help government is just to say, putang ina mo, nagbabayad ako ng boys, bakit mo pa ako hinihingian? At sampalin mo. Baske sino, wag kayong dari. Ang ina, dumating lang yan sa mga pisto nila siguro, political appointments. Wag kayong magtakot to confront or to confront graft on its face. Corruption na harap-harapan mo. Kasi kung hindi nyo gawin yan, wala talaga mangyari. In two years, I'm living. So what have I done? Well, uh, undersecretaries, mga directors. There was one lady I fired and sabi nila, to their uh, estimate, she must have gathered billions. And ganito ang mahirap itong mga tao na hindi mo kilala during the campaign. Kil kilala. Na, yung, uh, a, a family of um, uh, walang ginawa kung hindi mag yung magdikit sa mga politiko. They do not... Uh, run for public office. Dedicate lang yan at maging mga operator. Kilala ninyo yan sila. Kaya ang gusto kong you know, when you, when, when you deal with a person in government and uh, uh, you do not like the way you are being treated all you have to do, sabihin ninyo sa mga tao, is just to get the number of the office or what. Yung pangalan, at meron namang kaming 888, and they can post it there. And I assure you, there is no libel there. It is, if it is addressed to me, then that is in the performance of duty. Sabihin lang ninyo ito si Director and Transaction uh, his uh, inupuan yung papel kasi may hingi. Outright. Alam mo kung mangyari yan, mas uh, we can tone down corruption considerably. But the problem again is yung mga tao matakot kasi sabihin nila pag wala na ako baka sila ang risbakan. Sa totoo lang, nandito yung mga tao sa... Nananampal talaga ako ng empleyado. There was an undersecretary. Sinipa ako talaga. Literally dito. Yung... Ayaw ko na... Yung iba na mahilig sa pera, pinapakain ko talaga na pera. Pero wala rin. Talagang literally sinusubo ko yung ganun pa rin. Pasig commission, wala namang trabaho. Tsaka yung sa FDA. Yung mga ganun na ano, report to the public. Because you owe it <laughs> to the republic to inform them. Ako, ang aking Hinihingi is simply the truth. If the truth will destroy me, so be it. Huwag kayong mag, ano, magdala, mag, mag, mag isip, isip pa kung ano. If the truth will 
masisira ako. That's the price of being in public service. But I assure you, it could be something else except money. Kaya, dito sa administrasyon ko, wala akong papel na transaksyon sa gobyerno na dumadaan sa opisina ko. MRT, kung anong uh, plano nila dyan, na, natapos na lang yan, walang papel ng negosyo na pinipirmahan ko. Wala. Those papers are not allowed. Ayaw ko. Ayaw ko kasi pag gusto kong bumira, bira talaga ako. Now, you might not agree with me. I, 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 I can accept that. Hindi naman tayo magkaisang isip eh. But yung election, sinabi ko lang, I was in a hurry uh, because of no money. You have to save time. Pero hindi naman ako. I'm not trying to dramatize it. But ganito yan. Sabi ko, corruption, drugs. Sabi ko, then I will uh, uh, allow business, protect businessmen. Yan. Tapos uh, yung agriculture talaga sana. Kaya, ano, that's the poorest link sa ating ano yan. Yun ang inulit-ulit ko talaga. Drugs. Wala akong sinabi. Ito, ito. Pangkahan to. Human rights. And for all. Nasabi ko talaga, if you destroy my country, I will really kill you. Make no mistake about it. Pagka sinira mo ang bayan ko, papatayin talaga kita. Ngayon lang, if you want a good narrative, yan yan. Ngayon sabi, yung na namatay doon, I don't know, but I said, if you destroy my country, I will kill you. Let them worry about their death because I have to protect. My sworn duty is not to protect the people who are into drugs. My sworn duty is to protect the people and preserve the Republic of the Philippines. Yan ang trabaho ko. Kaya magsabi sila magpatayan, eh, pero wag kayong manainisali yung patayan, sila yun. Sila yung mga generals na pinagtatad-tad na nila yung para hindi malata. Yung marami dyan, mga rana, sila na yung naglinis. Yung mga generals, pati yung ninja cops. And they are still around, but I are just to about apat na lang. And they will all die. Because may kasalanan sila sa bayan. Yan ang ano. Ngayon, kung hindi ko sila maabotan, pag hindi na ako mayor, babaralin ko pa rin sila pag nakita ko. Same. Uh, whether I'm president or ordinary, pag nakita tayo at alam ko galit ka sa akin dahil sa droga, ay magbabaralan talaga tayo. Yan ang punto niya. Ngayon, alam mo kasi... Itong mga putang inang human rights. They are just dead, worried about a dead carcass there. They do not even know kung talagang pinatayan ng polis o ano. Basta pag may naki... Well, of course, there are exceptions. Pero karamihan yung nanamatay dyan, pag walang ano, sabihin nila, extrajudicial killing. Ako, I will admit, na yung sa polis has a semblance of truth. I go by government records. Kung sinabi polis Duterte ang napatay natin 5,000, oh, so be it. We admitted 
Pero wag naman yung 70,000 ko. Saan ko ilibing yan? Hindi lang pagpatay ang libing ang problema kung saan ko ilagay. Yung, may sum, yung sumusobra. Kaya ito ngayon, uh, sabi ko, grab and corruption. Sabi ko na sa inyo noon pa, na ang corruption na sa itaas. Diyan, yung mga BIR, mga collector of course, mga konti lang yan. Sabi ko, sa taas, niluluto tax exemption ng luna, tax exemption ng reduce from uh, 4 billion to 8, 8 million. Klase. Pero wala, eh, ginawa talaga. Ngayon, itong sabi ko, itong ibang na iba, talagang magbabayad sila. Because you have been looking for the where's the big fish? Saan yung inanap namin ng big fish? Oh, I'm giving you Ayala and Pangilinan. They are the big fish. Tignan ninyo ang kontrata. May isang uh, former senator ang sabi, wala man ako siya nakita na mali. You know, because he is an has asshole. He just to be want to be fashionable on the other side. Kaya pa, paano makorek natin yan? How, how can the Ayalas and the Pangilina now compensate in yung bill sa tubig? Tingnan mo, meron dyan enhancement. Ano yung enhancement? Water treatment facility. They were collecting that fee in 1957 until now. Putang in until now. Walang sige pa rin kolekta. Wala pa rin yung water treatment. Not the clean potable water that we envision. Whether when they, when they enter the business. Tapos yung, kaya gusto kong malayo to eh. Kaya lang kailangan ko rin, I'm pressed for time. Because I have to produce water for you. Gusto ko lang manawan si itong mga abogado ng Republic na ang kanilang corporate tax will be passed on to the consumer. Ang corporate income tax nila, ibibigay na sa consumers. Pagdating na ang consumers naman, ididedak doon yan kasi pang house, water bill. Adi wala rin ang gobyerno. At saka yung magbayad tayo <laughs> kung sila malugi. That is why, nung una, 3 billion, yeah, it was, the increase was uh, suspended because the right to increase is solely given to them. Kanila yan, wala tayong pakialam. And in that, in that uh, act, pagbigay nila, we lost the sovereignty because in that contract, if you have a copy of that contract, it says, for purposes of interpreting this contract, water shall be a commodity. It's our natural resource. Hindi mo pwedeng i-commodity lang. Yan ang sabi ko na, yan ang masakit sa akin. Kaya paano ito aregluhin? You can, uh, uh, parang ano man kayo, you echo the sentiment. Paano ko ito aregluhin? How can I, how can I now proceed with a new contract acceptable to them with the entry of new, new businessmen? Okay, paano yung ginawa ninyo? 
it is a contract with the end infused with the entry of new businessmen it is the same contract that is really a copy of the anti-graph law kung ano yung nasa anti-graph law nandiyan sa kanila tayo na ang magbayad kung malugi sila if we do not act itong regulator if, if he will not act to give the approval of the increase sa rates we pay for the so many months that they don't earn so how much we paid 3 million sa panahon ko dumating ayun ko siguro pinutol kasi taxes but not me pinutol yung yung ing ay pinilingilan yung rates pataas so i was billed 7 billion for the lost the bill bin sa kagita ng ganitong negosyo na ito kaya sabi ko nung nakita ko sinabi ni secretary sa finance we owe them 7 billion sabi ko sa ni bullshit sabi mo sa kanila daw babayad ikukulong ko pa sila totoo ikukulong ko talaga it's a, it's a bio, lahat violation ng contract. But I have to include the government lawyer who did that. Now, kung sino yung nagturo sa mga, mga abogado sa gobyerno, kasi ngayon, may maliliit na lang nagsabi na, na-retired naman kami, gano'n, gano'n. But sino nagplano niyan? Ang nagplano niyan, mga abogado. Ang nagplano niyan, malaking opisina na law firm. They are the only ones who could do that. Government lawyers would never attempt, attempt even to. And ang gusto ko lang malaman, bakit ginawa ito ng mga putang ina? That is why until now, I do not want to face them. Baka masampal ko talaga sila. Hindi ako matapang, pero pilitin ko lang sarili ko magtapang-tapangan sa ginawa mo. Binaboy mo ang bayan ko. That is the, that's the sad part. In October, in October 2016, I signed Administrative Order Number 1, which created the Presidential Task Force on Media Security. Wala mo na nakita yung malaking, ano, Yung mga pitsi, alam mo kung bakit, yung mag-ECDC, mag-atake dito, yeah, bawiin na naman, ayaw, ayaw magpadagdag. Kaya sa mga probinsa yan, ganon. Maghingi, member ng media, sige magbigay, police, bigay, media, bigay. Tapos kung magpa-increase, hindi na kaya, hindi na makabi, uh, ayun. Nabigyan na. Wala man nagpapatayan dyan sa yung higher profile na uh, critique uh, about government. Wala akong nakita ang newsman na ganun. Yung nasa mga sugal. It is worth noting that in December last year, the Quezon City Regional Trial Court branch 2 to 1 after 10 years promulgated the decision of the Maguindanao massacre, where 32 media workers were killed. The decision found 31 of the accused, including the principal suspects, guilty of the 57 counts of murder and sentenced them to recusion perpetua for up to 40 years imprisonment. Alamo, uh, this is because until now, outside Manila, the government is still feudal. Kaya, pag ano sabihin ng amo nila, gawa. Paski yung mga, alam mo sa probinsa yung mga polis, ang mga polis na re-recruit doon, yung mga tao ng mga politiko. Pagkatapos naging polis yun, kukunin nila. So, he becomes a warlord. 
Ganon ang reality. That is the reality of our times. Ngayon, kung anuhin mo lang, medyo istriktuhin mo lang ng konti. Hindi uh, ko naman, hindi ko naman pinagyayabang, pero at least we're able to tame a little bit. And uh, there's a equal temperature in Mindanao. But in wala, wala yun. Eh, ano yan eh, pinasok ta ng IS, tapos uh, given the such a decision which currently under, which is currently under appeal was considered as an unprecedented accomplishment in the history of the worldwide campaign against impunity. Well, if it is on appeal, there is no finality in it. And it does not really change the color of the environment doon. Kasi nga, lahat ka, basta politiko ka, ganito yan eh. Kung politiko ka, barangay captain ka, mayor ka, pag ikaw ang na-elected, mayor tubig namin, mayor ang daan namin, mayor ang doktor namin, Mayor ang eskwilahan namin. So talaga magpunta doon, it becomes a feudal system. We are, mata, mat, mata, matagal pa tayo, matagal pa tayo. Matagal pa tayo sa ating uh, environment. Uh, in some places, medyo ano, but in Mindanao, malayo pa tayo. And in some places, such a decision is currently under appeal. As we ensure your safety and protection, I trust that the Philippine media will continue to stand by the principles of truth, responsibility, fairness, even as you ask to redefine and strengthen your relevance in the rapidly changing chains of information. While our Constitution opposes the freedom of the press, the function of broadcast is a privilege granted by government. It is imbued with the best interest of the nation and our people. We will not tolerate any abuse of the privilege. To the new Board of Trustees and Officers of the KBP, I invite you to lead the Philippine broadcasting industry with a stronger dedication of your shared task of nation building. I trust that you will use the power of media to inform, entertain, educate, persuade, uh, to promote the welfare of the people. Together, let us work towards a stronger and a brighter future for all Filipinos. Sinasabi ko nga, malayo pa tayo. Unless we stop corruption. Madali lang man eh. Alam mo, alam ninyo, I, I'm sure that you know this. Ngayon ng BIR. Ano ba ang problema ng BIR? I-gross mo. If you go gross, wala nang corruption. Ano, ano, ano pa matignan nilang resibo? If you really, if, 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 if uh, Congress is really sincere in stopping corruption sa BIR o saan, igros mo. So wala na maglapit na patay na ang mga examiner niya kasi wala namang deduction. Gross eh, yun na po. Resibo lang. Kung gusto niyo talaga na walang ko. Tapos yung well, so many things, but uh, I can only do within my... Ang akin lang is itong sa... I don't know if you'll agree with me. I am not sure. But for you really who understand what I am expressing, I hindi yung pinipilit, huwag ninyo itong bitawan. 
Huwag na itong bitawan itong sa water because maraming ano dyan. It's not, a, we need water. So, ano naroon ka sa deep blue sea? Kung saan ka, kasi kailangan natin ng tubig. So, somehow you must come up with a compromise there. Pero ang akin lang is huwag ninyong bitawan itong pangyayari ito because I am sure as a former prosecuting lawyer grab and corruption ito. Sigurado ako. Iganin mo just by agreeing that the water will not be treated as a natural resource, it is already a serious crime against sovereignty. At kung yung ngikolekta nila since 1957, trillion na yan. So where is the money of the people? Trillion na yan. Nasaan na ang pera ng tao? Of course, may bagong mga negosyante. They will infuse. I do not know for what reason. Well, I am ready. Not me, but the economic managers. Kone lang. I refuse to talk to them. Pero if I do not make it to the finish line, kindly remember my words. Huwag ninyong bitawan ito kasi dugo ito ng Pilipino. Maraming salamat. Thank you very much, Mr. President, for your message. We shall now proceed with the photo-taking opportunity with the President. May we now invite the newly elected Board of Trustees and appointed Standards Authority Directors of Kapisana ng mga broadcaster ng Pilipinas to please proceed on stage. Thank you very much. May we please ask our officials to kindly exit to your left. Once again, thank you, Mr. President. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our oath-taking ceremony this evening. We would like to request everyone to please remain inside the venue until the president has left. Thank you.